Okay, we're on science, pages 79 and 80, but before we get into our new subject matter, we're gonna check 77 and 78. Remember that science experiment you did? If I had a, I only have this ball, belongs to Kennedy's dog. Probably has germs on it. But anywho, um, Hopefully you did the experiment and the hypotheses you were to choose from or the educated guess was between the ball will bounce higher from a higher starting point. The ball will, ball will not bounce higher. So say this is my starting point. I mean, this is my starting point and this is the floor. So the first hypothesis would be if I dropped it from here it would bounce here. If I dropped it from here, it would bounce higher. If I dropped it from here, it would bounce higher. Or the ball will not bounce higher. It doesn't matter if it's here, if it's here, if it's here, the ball will bounce the same height. Okay, so did you do that experiment? What did you find out? Okay, let's try it out here. For lack of a better ball, um, I'm going to start the bounce. Hopefully you can see it. I'm going to start the bounce down low. So, starting the bounce down low, it bounced only about maybe an inch. I'm going to start up a little bit higher. Did it bounce higher? It did, didn't it? I'm going to start it way up here. Watch the bounce. It bounced up to about there, didn't it? If I could, if I was taller, Ugh. right? So do you see that the higher you start the ball, the higher the bounce? That's because it has stored energy, right? It picks up an increased amount of energy the higher it goes. So the correct one, now if you got it wrong, do you have to erase it? No, because that was your guess, but you might want to cross out the incorrect one, maybe. Uh, the ball will bounce higher from a higher starting point. So I imagine most of you guys got that, if not everybody. So on the next page on 78, when it says make a conclusion, the energy stored in an object decreases or increases as the object's height increases. So the higher or the increase of the height, will that increase the bounce or decrease? It will increase, right, or get greater. So good, that was that little experiment that you guys did the other day. So going to pages 79 and 80, while I'm erasing, take a look at that, okay? That is called a hypothesis and educated guess, right? You always start with a question with a science experiment. You have a question, then you make a hypothesis, then you do the experiment, and then you draw a conclusion, right? That is what you learned from the experiment or test. An experiment would be like testing it. Okay, so on page uh, 79, it's talking about an energy chain. It says people can use energy to do many things. They can use the energy from moving air to sail a boat. They can use the energy in a battery to make a toy move. They can use the energy in food, which I am hungry right now. They can use the energy in food to learn. If you don't eat good food, your brain isn't going to function as well. That's why at school we take a healthy snack break, right? And we have lunch so that your brain has fuel for the afternoon to play, to grow, all of that. It says almost all of the energy on the earth comes from where? It comes from the sun, right? Plants store some of the sun's energy in the sugar that they make in their leaves. 
I try to store sugar, but you know, it doesn't work for me. No, sugar is for a person. Sugar will give you energy increase, but it causes you to crash real fast. So you'll have energy and then you'll crash. So you need to eat healthier food for longer sustained energy, protein, healthy carbohydrates, things like that. So how do living things use the sun's energy? Well, look at the energy chain. Trace the arrows to show how the energy flows from the sun. So actually you're starting at the bottom, aren't you? So below the first arrow, what does it say? The sun shines on the carrot leaves. And then it says the leaves make sugar. Some sugar is stored in the carrot. So the leaves are making the sugar and some of the sugar gets stored in that healthy carrot. Then what happens? Rabbits eat the carrot. They use the sugar to hop and run. Good. The rabbits. Now, does anything eat the rabbit? Mm, yeah, a fox could eat the rabbit, right? A sad thing. So it could go on and on and on, right? Well, let's look at the next page where you have the opportunity to show how energy is stored and used by plants, animals, and people. So you're going to draw pictures to complete the energy chain. I can't do that for you. So what are you going to do in the bottom box? You are going to draw the sun. How do you draw a sun? Probably not like that, but that could work, right? So you would take your yellow and you would draw the sun. Maybe you'd make the whole box kind of filled with the bright light from the sun. And then you will draw grass because the sun shines on the grass. And then you will draw a cow. Good luck. But you have a cow looking at you. Maybe you can copy that. You would draw a cow maybe eating the grass that the sun has shown on. Then you will draw your favorite food from a cow. Now, if you're like me, you want all cows to be your pets, right? But putting that aside, do you like hamburger, uh, steak? Maybe you like ice cream, which comes from milk, and the cow didn't have to die. And that can come from a cow. I do eat meat. So your favorite food that comes from a cow, maybe your favorite food is cheese. Well, that comes from milk, dairy, dairy cows. And then you would draw a picture of yourself using the energy. What's your favorite thing? Please don't draw a picture of you sitting there playing a video game, okay? Doesn't take much energy, but it takes some. It takes your brain, to, you know, it does take energy. But maybe your favorite thing, showing yourself moving your favorite sport to play. Maybe you like to swim, maybe you like to bike ride, maybe you like to play soccer, football, kickball, run, jog, walk, um, whatever it is that you like to do. And again, I would love to see your pictures, okay? Because that helps me feel connected to you. Because in class, I love to walk around and watch you know, what you're drawing and what you're doing because you guys are very creative. So if you could do that for me, I would love it. So go ahead and finish 79 and 80, and that will conclude our day. All right, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.